But you still stand. Your determination defies all reason. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength. For when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up again and again without end. I see.
is that escape and rendered yourself powerless, bereft of the synergy you claim is your strength, unless you mean to call upon the dead once more. to the last, but you will be one with us ere long. You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence, curse your life as it fades. As we did, as we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt, such anguish and rage. We tried, we tried, but it was no use. Only when we surrendered did we find release, only when we embraced death. So join us in despair and embrace yours. My ultimatum, what is happening? something in you once, as you did in me. When at last I understood what it was, I journeyed to Sharyan to seek you out. Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. In exchange for letting the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come here. Gorging upon what remained of the Mother Crystal, I reclaimed the form of the dragon. And, hungry still for our reunion, I rode the light of the stars to you. I take it this is your prey. But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for you. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. Am I mistaken? What I desire of you isn't succor, it is satisfaction. So come, let us dispense with this distraction, you and I.
will never reach the deliverance you seek. No matter where we flew, there was only darkness, and loneliness, and pain. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. May we please be friends? of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them, then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find, was there all this time, on a theris, like a field of flowers perhaps, at first a single blossom, it spreads and takes on more colors. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And how has time flown on those waters? And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do. Express. 
expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done. Will restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. Of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow, life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds. A song of hope. to return to the world where you are hailed as a hero. Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure... I have to share. And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. You value life. 
You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people. The motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. As surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. Such pleasures. You seek for their own sake, and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? the desire to kill me, have you? Go on, then. Try and strike me down in this forsaken place. I shall return to favor. I, let us indulge in the only worthwhile pursuit and burn our lives to their end.
was this life a gift or a burden? Can you hear me? Say... Must tend to... Open your... Please... Someone's hand... Please... Are you... are you with us? Oh, thank the heavens. For a moment we thought... After what you've done, you're the last person to be asking that. You... How can you keep your promise if you're not here? Another fine show you've put on, my friend. Fine show, indeed. What were you thinking, fighting alone? Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain?
that is gladdening. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdening! There's nothing gladdening about this! When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came! And when you finally deign to appear, you're within an ilm of your life! Damn you! Damn you for making us worry! Announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. Yes! 